Uh, hi. It looks like the guy that's um, moved in after he gave his uh, uncle a big old twenty dollar hit, and his uncle that was living there had a massive heart attack and up in the hospital last year exactly at this time. And um, <clears throat> what a uh, uh, and um. It was in the hospital for a long time. He had. He also uh, carries some fluids. It looks like the swelling of his legs might be caused from um, probably hepatitis or something, and maybe uh, 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 mixed with a diabetes and prostate cancer. But anyway, it was the heart attack. So he didn't get out. Anyway, he ended up in a nursing home after that, um, transferring to San Francis um, nursing uh, uh, nursing home behind San Francis hospital there and um can't remember the name of the uh, nursing home but anyway um so why he was there his nephew was telling everybody he died I and my sister showed up in March and he was still in the nursing home and um for my birthday and we went and visited him in the nursing home he got out like a month after that and stayed with other people because um they he just couldn't live in that house but anyway so his nephew's been in there ever since and he's saying he can't get his nephew out but his nephew his nephew got burned by Linda Watson. Linda Watson owned the house right across the street, on the street behind her family had for a long time. And um, she had been married to a governor or something when she came out of school in another state, whatever, you know. But because of drugs or whatever, and, and her her way of um, her hoish ways of not able to let them go, and her roguish trifling ass minds off. <coughs> you know, um, it, it just did, it, so the marriage came to an end. And um, but anyway, he was living over in that house. He was paying rent, and then when uh, but she wasn't, you know, because she had a drug um, habit. Uh, I don't think she was working. You know, I think she had been working in the bank here, and then they ended up letting her go. So she wasn't working. She was trying to sell Mary Kay. That's it. And um, um. Um, so anyway, so the, the city ended up taking it. She went to him, and she was nice enough when the city gave her a notice they were going to, you know, tear it down. That um, she told him he didn't have to pay rent no more, but he had been paying rent on it, whatever. So and he continued to stay there until they tore it down. Now the guy that was living in this house over here, he lived there for um, over ten years. Cause my aunt Lurleen, who passed away in '97, and and uh, Irma Jean that was living in this house here. Um, um, uh, had cancer really bad and um, abdominal cancer and, um, and so he just didn't pay rent. He, he acted like he was staying in lieu of pay, uh, uh, mowing the grass but everybody that rents around here knows that part of stimulation is that you do mow the grass. But anyway, bullshit, bullshit, whatever they, they want to tell me. Like, so him, he can't stand me. He actually uh, um, hit me with a two by four all over me, tried to gauge all my eyes and all this crazy shit. Anyway, so I turned around and beat the fuck out of him. Um, I also, <laughs> I picked up everything I could find, you know. If we was outside, but you'd be surprised. <laughs> like, you, you know what I'm saying? He's already, he already got me by a foot and by like 80 pounds and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he's um, such an alcoholic and a, a dope fiend for like like him like it, you know probably since 78 I guess um, um, all of them like the 80s will just say um, that you know he just you know it's just that but anyway so he's he's living back in there I saw the Brock the, the uncle uh, that but anyway so you know, of course, I had to call everybody and tell them exactly what's going on. Because they didn't, you know, they, they didn't see me. Or uh, if they did, I don't care. Um, cause they, they, their thing is they just, they want to make sure I see them, you know, whatever. And, um, or, uh, cause they, they got, lucky for me, they got all, they, they know all about women. They got them all figured out. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so we're just going to, um. We're just gonna tear the tear them down, about, you know, make because like they they um let me see both of them like uh let's see of of Iron that's you know like gave his brother that hit his old crackhead uh I think he got two brothers in the police department Larry Jones right he's one live is uh that was living there and didn't pay you know getting over off of two sick women you know living free um um he he got, I know he first he got one brother in the police department. So, 
they got a, you know, a lot of the 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 the, 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 the dope dealers and the dope fiends. They all got they all got they all got family to police department. Even though like Memphis like a big a big city, like every, uh, there's a lot. Of, they're very promiscuous, so everybody's related. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so. But they they collect metals and cans, and the house across the way was empty. And um, as long as I don't, well, anyway, it'll get handled. I just, I, I'm just gonna let it be handled. Out of my family out of New York because um, first of all, I don't know, I'm poor, and and second of all, um, that way I don't get too much retaliation. Hopefully they just have to worry about that next hit. So you know. <laughs> I sure hate it. I think every mammal should have a place to stay. I don't care. Every God's creature. But a lot of it is like, oh well. They were very small, big pimping, big gangs, you know, original gangs, like, started in the 70s, you know. Yeah, and the police started all the gangs. Everybody knows that, right? Went through the drug trafficking because of the prohibition of the drugs and the prostitution and other stuff is open wide open um if you think like australia where they, where they like they say they let everybody know oh you know we were all criminals they came out of prisons like here especially like uh uh after world war one and world war two and a korea war also the people that we did let in was criminals so and um you could just think of reg uh, uh uh what was it tricky dicky some of um by uh, 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 Nixon's uh, uh, economic policies, uh, Reagan uh, policy, uh, economic policies, and all this is leading uh, to um, where the dollar bill um, is no longer backed by gold. Um, of course, the United States hasn't owned it, and, uh, uh, owned the making and uh, producing of uh, money in quite a long time, but it's backed by oil. And it seems like if a country tries to rebel and use their uh, uh, their oil in a different currency, the next thing you know, here they come kicking down the door, talking about we're going to be you're going to be democratic, you know. <laughs> but it, uh, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of uh, uh, um, was it anonymous <laughs> videos, love it. But anyway, um, but and, and but the thing is, is just like it's exactly exactly what I've been saying, because it's exactly what I've been saying, and it's exactly what has happened to me. So a lot of stuff, you know, with the police and have experience, you know, and and like it's like with their t they, they have a problem with that Russell um, uh, Brand he was talking about in London, very nice looking ladies, um, and the problem that they have had with uh, these these crooked and, and trifling and roguish uh, uh, land grabbers they're bloody invaders you gotta watch out for them and don't let them touch you because I think they got some parasite on you uh, mm -mm. you will look gross anyway but so I got a problem over here now they want to do like a uh, 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 on, the, on another property back there, uh, they want to um, put some type of tower there. We don't need any more. We got the trains over here tear up through our land. We got a big tire for letting the airplanes go fly right over. FedEx flies right over, especially at night for some reason. Every 15 minutes, the trains been going through there, and you can see a tree got really big on the other side of the house. That other, on the other side, the Larry Jones, the one that's now you know like you know was living there for 10 years. He, he, his mom had owned that house and gave it to him when, when he died. He was big pimping and had all these women and doing all these drugs. He didn't pay no bills. Anyway, have a happy Saturday. I guess everybody's eating some leftover turkey, watching football, and, get, and going out shopping. Well, here, the weather is lovely. It's uh, in the 60s. Let me see what it is now. I I'm moving around a lot. Uh. 64. It's supposed to get up to like uh, um supposed to get quite warm today, and tomorrow's supposed to get up to 71. So and tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my little seven mile walk. I haven't decided. I'll decide later. Uh, okay. But the the suns the suns. I don't know if you can see the sun. Here's a double screen, so it's hard for you to see. I know it's like when I film, it's hard to see. Well, anyway. 
December, what, no, December, y'all, December is right around the corner. 